In 1904, why did the man who would go on to be King George V of the United Kingdom feel compelled to spend 1,500 pounds on a printed portrait of his own grandmother? I'll read that again. In 1904, why did the man who would go on to be King George V of the United Kingdom feel compelled to spend 1,500 pounds on a printed portrait of his own grandmother? It was a really bad portrait. It was just <laughs> insulting. <laughs> and in the same way that like in, in stories of the 1950s and 60s, people would have to buy photographic negatives because it was the only copy. Like this was the only copy of a really insulting portrait. And he's just like, he is having to be the highest bidder to make sure no one will ever see his grandmother looking that bad again. Ooh, <laughs> I love that idea. It, King George V's grandmother's Victoria? Probably. Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes. Oh. Um, I also, Tom, I love the idea of like, um, in the same way that someone can take like an embarrassing paparazzi fic po photo, someone painted in a paparazzi like yeah. portrait, like yeah. from the window and was like, ha ha <laughs> and, then the, and then he had to buy it so no one else could get it. Right. Yeah. Is it the opposite that like he desperately needed a portrait to show in his home and he just didn't have one? So he was like, ah, sh I've got to go find one very quickly. And that was the one he found. I'm trying to think of like portraits of, does it matter that it is of Victoria specifically? Like I was trying to think of portraits I've seen of her where she's, it's like all in mourning, black mourning clothes and she ah, looks really dour. Yeah. So maybe she was like wearing something colourful and smiling and he was like, need that. We've, we've shown repeatedly on the show that my knowledge of historical dating is pretty bad. I, in terms of like where <laughs> dates are, not in terms of how people date in the past. Um, <laughs> 1904 feels like around when Queen Victoria died. Oh. I don't oh. know if she was still alive in 1904 or not, but that is about when... I don't think that's super relevant to this. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. But, but about historical dating, uh, was it that it was an unconventional portrait for the time? So I'm... It was ah. a photograph for, and not a painting. Was it, did you say it was a painting? It, it did say portrait, and that's a, that, I feel like that word's doing a lot. Uh, thank you, producer mm -hmm. David, uh, who has just said Queen Victoria died in 1901, so we're three years after. Ah, ah oh. okay, cool. Ella, I will say, I can say, yes, it was an unconventional portrait, but in a way that when you look back on that later, you'll yell at me for saying that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's technically oh, true, but it might not be helpful. It may, it might be helpful. It might be helpful. Oh, um, good. So, okay, well, not a photograph then, because I think I feel like they would be really expensive. But also, so how was, much was the what was the pound amount? Fifteen hundred pounds. Fifteen hundred. That's, that's a colossal amount for back then. Was she on the money? Was it like a rare fifteen hundred pound note or bill or something like that? But oh, and, and her yeah. face was on it. Oh yeah, because the monarch's face is on the money. It wasn't money. No, it was on on something. But it was something else. And you said compelled to buy, right? He felt compelled to buy it. Yeah, I think that's a little subjective. I I, okay. I would say it's not. There's no urgency to uh, this necessarily. It, it, I think compelled is an okay word. It was on, oh, it, it was a, a wood carving on the front of a ship of Victoria sailing through the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Could it have been something like a brooch with her face on it? You guys are cir circling it. I think if you split mm. the difference somewhere between there, so it, it's something... <laughs> between brooch and figurehead. <laughs> no, no, between brooch and money, um, oh, okay. which I know doesn't help that much more, but... It's it's rare, but it's not one of a kind, um, is how I would phrase it, um, oh. is, is also huh. how, the, how the price is. Where would I put my face? <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to let that one slide by, right? We're not going <laughs> to... Uh, yeah, let's not get into that. Emblazon my face everywhere. <laughs> Maybe this was something that had been made by, like, a community in tribute to Victoria, and ah. he felt compelled to reward them for that. Like, oh, you've spent all this time and effort making a tribute to my dead grandmother. I guess I should buy it off you, and I promise to yeah. absolutely put it up in the palace here and not just chuck it under a desk. <laughs> he definitely didn't do anything like hang it in the palace. What he likely did was 
put it with some other things. Um, he valued it, but... It was her face burnt onto toast like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> on food, on some on some form of food. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh. no, no. Uh, I, I think you were the closest with money. Oh, okay. okay. So it's like a collectible. It is. Ah, a doll. It was a doll. A coin. <gasps> a card. A a baseball card with Queen Victoria <laughs> showing her fifteen <laughs> career home runs and yeah, <laughs> top trumps Queen Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> I play Queen Victoria in attack mode. <laughs> um, this will. This is a classic, um, old-fashioned hobby. Also, I think a play imagine. Oh, you guys are getting so close. I'm surprised you guys haven't said it. It's a Queen classic the mug. Uh, Queen collecting. I I have like three mugs of Queen Elizabeth from different eras in her life. A thimble. We'll get to. I I want to dig into Ella's collection in a second, <laughs> yeah. but um. Oh yeah, a spoon. <gasps> a spoon? No, no, guys. I it's also a... collect spoons. I just want to really destroy my reputation. <laughs> on this. <laughs> you would have a booklet for this for collecting stamps. It was a stamp yes, with a her classic. face on it because in Britain the stamps have the monarch's face oh. on, and it must have been some rare stamp. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. I also collect Doctor Who stamps. <laughs> Again. Not surprised by this. I'm so sorry, Tom. Do you mind if we just like take a quick sidebar to this podcast? Uh, no, uh, K- King George, King George V was an avid stamp collector who spent a lot oh. of money acquiring rare stamps. One of the stamps that he bought was the Mauritius two pence blue, which bears the head of his grandmother, Queen Victoria. Uh, the stamp was issued by Mauritius in 1847, and only a few dozen oh, wow. of them are known to exist today. Uh, and it was originally intended to be used for invitations to a ball, but some of them were mistakenly sold to the public. Oh. King George V uh, bought the Mauritius two pence blue at an auction in 1904. He dis- oh, he did display it in a special frame in his study. I was wrong, Tom. Oh, so, oh there we go. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine being the person bidding against the King of England <laughs> <laughs> for his grandmother's stamp? Right? Yeah, you're like. <laughs> But you're like, ooh, but it'd be such a story if I got this. <laughs> um, nowadays, well, maybe they should have because nowadays the stamp is worth about one to two million dollars in today's oh money. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, and he had 328 albums of stamps, which became the basis of the Royal Philatelic Collection. 